Okay, I am going to do a Let's Play of Little Nemo and the Dream Master. This is going to be my first Let's Play ever. I am hoping this is going to turn out well, because I want to do more Let's Plays in the future. And um, I'm new at doing Let's Plays, and I love playing video games, I love playing old games. And I'm going to play this game for a first time. This is Little Nemo, uh, the Dream Master. Basically, it's a story of a little boy who has a dream, he wakes up in the middle of the night, and he gets called to Slumberland by this weird clown-looking girl to go play with a princess. Uh, this is a little boy in diapers, but I don't give a shit about the story. Let's just play this. Let's play this game. Dream 1, the Mushroom Forest. This is the first level of the game. I like this game. This is an old NES game that I didn't grow up with, and uh, a lot of people... So, well, you know, if you had the NES back in the day, you, you knew what games were good and what games weren't. This is one of those games that just kind of slipped by me. I had a friend in college who showed me this game on an emulator, and I thought it was pretty fun. So I'm going to do a Let's Play of it. Blah, 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 shut up. Uh, you can throw candy for your weapon. It's, it's a pretty, pretty lame weapon. Uh, only, all it does is stun enemies, and you don't have a weapon to attack with in this game, which sucks. Uh, you can just stun enemies by throwing candy at them. You can kill enemies by getting a animal friend, like I have here. Now that I'm in an animal, I, I guess, uh, I can jump on enemies and kill them. You have to drug the, the animal with, with candy and then he becomes your friend. Kind of like a Mario game and a Mega Man game together, I don't know. It's weird. So, uh, you need to collect keys to get through the level. There are are a number of keys in the stage, and each stage has a number of keys, and if you don't have them all, you can't go to the, the next level. There's a door at the end, you'll see. Ooh, yeah. This is my first Let's Play, I've never done Let's Plays, there's a lot of YouTube guys out there. It's, it's, the, YouTube's oversaturated with Let's Plays, but I figure I'd give this game a try, give my Let's Play skills a chance, and uh, hopefully I can do many videos, and uh, review old games, because there's so many games I like to review, and so many games I like to talk about, um, rate, you know, and, uh, just critique on how good or how bad they were, there's a lot of shitty video games out there, uh, I haven't had the technology to do recordings, like, the way I want to do them, and, uh, I've just built my first computer, and I'm really, really, really excited about it, because now I could just, I can, uh, do so much, I can get tons of software on my stuff, I can put hardware hard drives and things. It's gonna be aw it's awesome. And uh, I think you're... Well, I'm gonna upload as many videos to YouTube as I can. So we got six keys. I love the music in this stage. Uh, it's really, really, really good. Uh, a lot, I have a really passion for old NES games music, the bleeps and bleeps and, you know, that. So I just beat the first level. And uh, go on to the next. These old games are really, really fucking hard. Uh, anyone who's ever owned an NES knows that old games are just, like, you die so much. I, very few kids I bet ever beat this game growing up. Like, if you had an NES and you had this game, like, almost, I'd say maybe 4% of every kid beat this. Because one, there's no save system or password system in this game. Uh, you have to start the game over every time you turn it off. Um, like a lot of games, and uh, it's really, really long. So, yeah, good luck with that. You know, you got this game, and uh, as a kid, uh, you know, it was like Sunday night, and you had to go to bed early, and your mom told you to turn it off, and you had your, like, second grade book report due for oak leaves and baseball practice, and, you know, what kid's gonna sit through this whole thing? Not many. Here we got another little midget or whatever the fuck this guy is. I don't know. Let's feed Donkey Kong some drugs. There we go. Now I got a big gorilla. A big, fat, smelly gorilla who can punch people. He's got six health points. Each animal in this game has a, a different number of, like, health that they can have. 
uh, every time you switch animals, like, you have three health, but each animal can have more health, has more health. Like, I think this guy has the most health of all animals. I can even punch my own guy. Um, I can't get over there. Nemo only has three hits, sadly, and there's no way to, like, increase your life besides getting an animal. It's all about having animal friends in this game. This stage is a lot harder than the first one that I was just doing. And these pollen fucks are one of the most annoying enemies in any video game ever. They they come from above, and you can't attack... Well, you can't, you can, you can't barely attack in this game at all, but you can't sh attack upward. And the enemy comes upward, and it's just a pain in the ass. I hate it. Uh, I hate games where you can't, sh like, attack in a certain direction, and enemies come in a certain direction. Like, like, Mega Man is my favorite... NES. It's one of my favorite. It's probably my favorite series of all time. But uh, Mega Man himself can never shoot upward. And whenever you have an enemy that comes up, uh, it's just a pain in the ass because you can't defend yourself. Uh, you know, I, I don't like that. But whatever. Those are old games. Got to have some challenge in them, right? So we get out of this guy, and then we can get a bee. I, and I love the bee. The bee is fun. The bee lets you fly around and shoot. Uh, you know, spikes out of your ass, or whatever those are. Gotta fly up here. Get the key. Little Nemo was actually a uh, anime, or they made a movie called Little Nemo in Slumberland, uh, which I never watched as a kid. I didn't even know about it. I heard it did like flopped at the box office really bad. And uh, I, I watched it on YouTube, and it's it's not that great, but it's 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 entertaining, you know. I'd say it's an underrated classic for kids. Uh, if I have kids, I'm going to have them watch that. I, I even put it on for my niece and nephew. What the hell's this? A rep? I've never seen that guy in this game. That is weird. Uh, if I ever have kids, though, I'm going to have them watch this. And you can't swim with the bee suits. So I got to get out of that. I think this game actually came out before the anime movie, but I, I cartoon, but I, I could be wrong. Alright, let's get past you. Oh shit, I need to get up there. How do I do that? I need an animal friend. I have a bad feeling about this. I think I missed a key somewhere, but I don't know. Ah, oh, goddammit. Yeah, this game, you're so powerless in this game to do anything. You just, you just have to get, like, hurt a lot, and it's hard. But it's the challenge that makes it fun. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I have five keys, and fuck, I died. At least when you die, you get to keep all your keys. You don't have to, you know... And there's some checks. Some levels have checkpoints, which is good. So somewhere I missed a key. Uh, we'll have to figure out where it was. Uh, not in here. Oh, maybe down here. Oh, look at this. You can go under the water. Who'd have thought to do that? Like, if you did that in any any other NES game, like Mario or something, you would die. But, you know, in this, in this game, um, yeah, you just gotta explore every little nook and cranny. And, uh, you didn't have an internet back in the day, so you didn't know where these things were. You just had to, like, search around, you know? And then you told all your friends in school at the lunch table that you beat the second level of this game, and they'd all be really impressed with you, and they'd want to come over to your house and watch you do it! And then you were, like, the you were like the, 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 the favorite boy for the week, you know? Because you beat the second level of Little Nemo. Wow. Alright, I think we got all the keys now. I just gotta get through this fucking stage without dying. Ugh, holy shit. Can I do it? Oh god. God damn, man. Just give me a weapon. Oh, there we go. Every time you beat a level, you get a little, little uh, cutscene about Nemo's mom yelling at him about not being in bed. Because uh, apparently Nemo's just insomnia. He's, he's got insomnia. He can't sleep. House of Toys. Maybe he just gets up every, like, 20 minutes to take a piss or something, because he drank too much soda the day before? I don't know. 
This level is really a pain in the ass because there's no checkpoints in it. If you die, you have to start the whole level over again. You have infinite continues in this game, but still, it's it's a pain. But I love the graphics, and I love the music in this game. I love it. It's so colorful and lively and exciting, you know? Oh fuck, I missed the one up. Wow, I gotta live through this whole level. The airplanes wanna kill me. And like a lot of old NES games, they always put like one-ups and shit in places that are next to impossible to reach without dying. So just forget them if you can. And uh, spikes will kill you in one hit in this game too, so don't touch them. Capcom likes to put, make a lot of games where spikes kill you in one hit. But I love Capcom. Uh, I love NES Capcom games. They, they rarely fuck up their NES games. A lot of NES games suck and are made by terrible developers. Uh, you know, I was tempted to get Pat the, NES's, Pat the NES Punk's book about NES games to see how he reviewed them and the ratings he gave each. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm, I'm considering it because... I have my own feelings on how uh, good or bad some NES games are, and uh, I'd say this game is a pretty damn good game. This is one of like one of not the maybe top ten, but you know maybe top like twenty NES games. I'd say I, I like it a lot. This game doesn't get talked about too much. A lot of people talk about things like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or uh, you know. Top Gun, well, Top Gun sucks. Uh, you know, they, they don't talk about this this one as much. It's not really obscure, but it's it's fun. Ow, shit! I got eight keys. Oh, that's nine keys rather. But I only need six keys to get through that, so you can't really fuck this level up. I mean, it, you're gonna pass it as long as you, you know, grab a couple keys at the beginning. But yeah, if you die once, you start the whole level again. Nemo? What are you doing? <laughs> Get your ass back in bed! Night C. Oof. Oh, I love this music. Hey Nemo! If you share your candy with the hermit crabs, they'll take you where you want to go! Well, thank you. And we're gonna go swim in the ocean. Look at how, look at how beautiful this is. Blue, blue water and black sky. God, I'd love to go swimming in an ocean like this someday. At night. Now come to think of it, this game reminds me a lot of uh, where the wild things grow, or where the wild things live, or wherever that was. With those, like, those, uh, you know, the furry beasts or whatever. The guys with, like, bullhorns and, like bird feet and shit. And plus the kid kind of looks like the... Nemo looks like the little boy in that thing, too. Um, you know, his mom was yelling at him in the beginning of the story, and he got sent to his room without dinner or whatever. And he, like, fell asleep on the bed, and then he had a dream. Well, they didn't tell you he fell asleep in the book. It just says he, he, he thought he was in, like, a... He thought he... He went to the where the wild things were. You know, as a kid, you'd actually think he's going to where the wild things were, but he, he, t he passed out on the bed and fell asleep. And then he, like, came back from... When he came back from where the, where the wild things were, he actually just woke up from bed and his mom pitied him and, you know, put put food on the table for, in his bedroom for him to eat. But, uh, yeah. Can't send a little kid to bed without supper, man. Even if you punish him, you gotta, you gotta give him forgiveness, you know? There's child laws nowadays. Fuck, can I get... Ooh, that was close. I'm doing a very good job not dying. I don't want to die a lot, because I'm not really going to edit this video. I'm going to just run the whole thing through. And look at this! Who would think to go right here? Like, there's a secret there to, to go into, and you get a key. But if you didn't know that, you'd never... Like, you'd never know to go there. It's like a dead end. It's like, oh, I don't need to walk over there, you know? Classic old NES games, man, at their finest. 
Oh, fuck. I believe there's only five keys in this stage, but I can't remember. Look at the depths down. Will that, no, will that kill me if I go down here? Let's just see. Oh, I, I couldn't find out. I bet that would kill me if I swam down there. Like, there wouldn't be anything deeper down there. Let's go down again and see if I die. I just want to see, like... The game told me to swim down deep in the... Deep before. So if I swim down really deep, will I die? Yeah, you will. Great logic, game. <laughs> the second level had me swim underwater far. In this game, if you do it... it is, or this level, if you do it, you die. <laughs> wow. How consistent. This fish, I believe, only appears in this level. And you can't... Again, a lot of these animals suck. You can't really attack with them. You just... They're just like... You can just ride around and... Fuck. God, I'm really getting killed a lot. You just ride around in them. Okay, I'm not gonna die this time. How did Nemo's hair change to black? It was purple before, now it's black? I didn't notice that. One day I want to make an NES game. Um, I don't know programming at all. I can't. I've never programmed anything, but I really want to make an old school NES game. I would make like a, a platformer, like a beat 'em up side-scrolling platformer where you like had like a certain amount of levels and shit, and you had to go and I'm gonna I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. I'm, well, I'll just glitch him off screen. But uh, I'd make an NES game that was a platformer like this, and it had many levels. And it was kind of a beat em up, and you had to do like little objectives, like a, a Streets of Rage kind of game. But like I'd have objectives in the level, like to like steal access codes in a power plant, or uh, you know rescue a kidnapped child, or something cool like that. I, you know, there we go. Got a key. All right, let's go back up. I think I got all the keys now. Five keys is what I need. Just don't die. Okay, okay, get the fuck out of my way. Oh shit. God, it sucks not having a weapon in this game. Controls aren't much better either. Oh, there we go, I gotta jump out of the water. Jesus. Just get me out of the stage. There we go, five keys. Done with the level. COMPLETED! What's gotten into you? Why can't you just stay in bed? Why do you keep using the toilet? What's his mom doing? Why does his mom notice he's up all the time? Is she like... Just, what does she do? Work night shift? Oh god. Nemo! I think we're in your house. Okay, we're in Nemo's house now, but apparently Nemo has shrunk down to the size of like a beetle or something, or a tiny little bug. I mean, look how fucking small he is. I guess he had a dream that he was like, he was super shrunk down. This level sucks because there's no checkpoints in it, and like the third level, there's no checkpoints in it, and you have to go through the whole thing without dying, but you have to collect keys, and they're in, and they're in just every single spot of the house. It's, I would say this is almost probably the second it's my least favorite level in the game, but, uh, it's just probably the second hardest, minus the last level, which is like three levels, but this level sucks. I hate this level. I'm sure this is kind of the weed-out level that a kid's got to they never probably beat. When they, like, rented the game, they would get this far, and then maybe they'd turn off the game. Every game has a level that does that to them, like Sonic 1 with the water level. Or the people would get that far, they, then they just turn off the game, you know? I bet this was the level that kids did that back in the day. But maybe not. So I have to go down here and 
you get, you get, there's so many enemies to hurt you. Like, you only have three hits. There's monkeys on dishes. Uh, yeah. I have nothing to say about that. Uh, fuck it, let's just go down here. I'm probably not gonna- I'm probably gonna die and have to redo this a lot. It's gonna be in the recording, which sucks. There we go. All patched up. I don't want to be the frog. Okay, we got the lizard. Uh, and rather go than going back up, we need to go this way. We can get a one up here. And a key. See, if you forgot that key, you'd have to- you'd fuck up the whole level and have to go all the way back, and that's terrible. Oh, I love the- I wish I could have the bee for the whole game. In fact, I wish I could just collect an animal suit and then switch it out whenever I wanted to. Like, that would make the- like, if they made more levels in this game, uh, that would be a fun thing to do. Just have, like, all the suits, like a Mega Man thing, and be able to switch them out to move around, instead of just having to find them everywhere. You know? If Nemo had, like, a little backpack he could carry his suits in, you know, and just pull out his, his bee suit when he needed to fly, and, like, his... I guess, well, the gorilla suit if he was gonna, like, fight a lot of enemies, but the bee is better anyway. The bee can pretty much do everything in this game. Maybe it's a hornet, I don't know. A hornet, bee. Does anybody know the difference between hornets, bees, wasps, and, like, yellow jackets? I think wasps and yellow jackets are similar. Oh, fuck, I'm getting hurt. Get the key, four keys. I can't remember how many keys you need to beat this level, but I'm sure it's a lot. Because this level uh, gave me PTSD. my day off from work today, and I'm in my room. Uh, no one's in the house right now, which is awesome, because I hate talking loud and then having people hear me because they think I'm talking to myself, and that's weird. I'm recording an NES game, okay? <laughs> I want to talk. I don't just want to do a silent Let's Play for my first one. And, yeah, we gotta go back now, I think. Because we can't get through this wall right here. It's blocked off. Fly back up here. I think there's a hole back up this way. But, uh, yeah, I, I own this game as an... I own this NES game. Uh, I bought it for $5 at a pawn shop when I was doing NES collecting. Kind of back in the day when collecting NES games was like a, a big fad, you know, about like 10 years ago, and like big YouTube reviewers like the AVGN and, and uh, you know, the Irate Gamer and all these guys were making videos about NES games and reviewing them and bad-mouthing them because it was fun, you know, and I had to just play these games, you know, I had to play them for myself on the old console, and this game looked so good, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna miss out on it. I bought a bunch of games uh, on the NES. There's so many hard games, people always wonder, like, what's the hardest NES game possible? So many games are just broken beyond belief. Like, they're not hard, they're just stupidly, like, they don't, I don't count them as a hard, a fair game. Like, Battletoads? That game is not... That game is not hard. That game is unfair. I don't count that as, like, the hardest game ever. It's just stupid. For a game to be difficult, it has to be fair. It has to have, like, a system... Like, infinite continues, the controls have to be decent enough. You can't have one-hit-kill bullshit around every corner, you know, to be a hard game. Uh, I would say, like, the hardest game I ever beat was probably Silver Surfer for the NES. Everybody, people said that game was really, really hard. Uh, it's hard in the beginning, but if you know, if, like, if you've got good control, it's not that bad, you know? It's, it's, it, I think if people think that game is way harder than it is, it's not that hard. You know, as long as the controls are good, the controls and the controls fucking suck here. Like, look at this shit. I'm hitting these rocks with a hammer and it's doing nothing. Like, 
how am I supposed to break these? I have to just kind of hit them at a certain angle, you know? Like, no, that's bad control, or that's bad, uh, bad programming. But a lot of the old games had really, really bad programming in them. Uh, you know, that they were unforgivable. You, you, you died and you had to start the whole game again. Uh, I don't know, they're just some, of, some people have really big classic games. But like I said, the hardest game I think I ever beat was Silver Surfer for the NES. That game was really hard, and, uh, you know, it was like, it was awesome. You know, you beat the game, and you could say you beat it. I beat Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES, too, but I had to watch a walkthrough on YouTube to, like, do it, because I couldn't beat the Technodrome at the end. It was insane. And Nemo took another piss. Again? What does it take to get you to just go to fucking sleep? Cloud ruins. I think all the, almost every level in the game actually is in the movie, the Little Nemo in Slumberland. Like, there's certain parts of the movie, you know, uh, that ha that show little brief parts of it. Like, this thing I think is in the beginning. And, you know, when you make a video game, you got it's... You gotta find source material to, uh... You wanna make it as close to the movie as you can, you know? Uh... Because, you know, if you make just random levels that nobody understands, it's not... It's not part of the movie. A lot of video game critiquers like the... You know... Always critique the game as... How close... Oh, fuck. How close... How close was it to the movie, you know? Do you... Like, if you remember it from the movie... I like the music in this stage. The stage is kind of a breather after that last one. Because there's checkpoints again, and, uh... I don't think key collecting is... is key collecting is pretty easy, uh, in this one. I think, like, all the keys are at the end. Oh, this part's hard. Gotta fly, fly, fly upward. And raining shit on you. Wow. There we go. And whenever you see an animal, usually you have to take him to get past the next part of the area. Like, you can't get through this with just the bee. You need this guy. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. But, uh, yeah. Oh, you can't get up here. You need to be Nemo himself to jump high enough. A little bit of problem solving. I'm gonna let this guy pass, because I know it's gonna happen as soon as I go through here. We're gonna go scrolling down. Oh, shit. I got this, I got this little pollen guy on the screen while we're scrolling down. That's gonna make it easier. Whoa, I was lucky. And, uh, I don't have a whole lot to say right now, other than I don't want to die. There we go. Back on terra firma. What is your favorite NES game, uh, you viewers who are watching this? Do you have an NES game that's your favorite? My favorite NES game is Mega Man 2. I, like I said, I love all the Capcom NES games, and, um... A lot of people love Mega Man, it's like one of the favorite games. Uh, it's... Mega Man 2, I'd say, is my favorite. Or Mega Man 3, I'm always jumping between them. Why me? Does everyone else kids give them this much shit? About sleeping? Just let the kids stay up all night, why do you give a damn? If he's... if he, like... If he wants to stay up all night... all night and get late for school the next morning, that's his problem. Why do you have to fucking bitch to him? I mean, it's, what is he doing? Like, 
smashing plates in the house and destroying things? Why do, why do you care if he stays up late? I never understood parents why they care about if their kids, like, goes to bed early and they just freak out. Like, like just let the kid, let the kid stay up. If he misses the school bus, he's in trouble. Or I guess the parents are going to be worried that the teachers are going to blame, <laughs> blame the, them for not making the kid go to sleep. You know? Too bad. The little shits will learn later not to do that. I worked at a group home when I was younger, and, um, I had this kid who refused to go to bed at night. Like, he wouldn't, he, he was so defiant, he just wouldn't go to sleep, and I had to tell him, like, repeatedly, you gotta go to bed, you gotta go to bed. And, uh, finally, I just stopped caring, you know? And, you know, my boss was angry that I didn't, you know, what, why he didn't fall asleep, and I'm just like, the kid's not gonna go to sleep? Fuck him, you know? Make him, uh... Let him let him run around the house all night, if he, or let him stay up all night if he wants to. If he, if he wants to, if if he, you know, in the morning he's gonna pay the pay the price for not getting on the school bus. It's not my problem. He chose to stay up late. He'll learn the hard way, little fucker. <laughs> you know, <laughs> see what happens in school. Just just give consequences to kids. Tell them, you know, you're free to do what you want, but if you uh, if you make a mistake, well, you're gonna you're gonna suffer for it. I was fucking molly coddling with kids. Come on, come on, you gotta go to bed. Like, my mom did that to me a lot. She'd, like, nag me and nag me to eat my vegetables and, you know, brush my teeth and all that. It's just like, enough is enough, you know? If I wanna, if I wanna be an idiot and eat Cocoa Pebbles for breakfast and, like, I don't know, pizza for breakfast and, and, and Mountain Dew for breakfast or whatever the fuck, I'll pay the consequences for it, alright? It's not your fault. You told me enough times. You don't need to tell me a you know, several times. This fucking part's annoying, too. Ugh. God, I hate this detection. Look at this shit. The, the hammer doesn't break the blocks, and this, this pollen guy falling on me repeatedly. You can tell why this kid, this game would drive kids loony. Fuck. And they just keep coming, too. Like, they keep respawning. God. And, oh yeah, there's no checkpoints in this stage, too. Have fun with that. You're guaranteed to, to uh, make a lot of mistakes here. Apparently we've turned the building upside down. And now we are on the ceiling. Not very disoriented, but... It's all colorful anyway. Alright, let's try to get past this part again without dying. Eat the fucking candy, you dumb mouse. God! I hate these fucking pollen guys! God, Capcom. I, I like this game a lot, but this is the shit that I hate. This is this kind of shit right here. This is what I'm talking about. These assholes keep coming down. And they, like, home in on you, too. Like, like, look at that. He homes in on you. Make it as annoying as possible. And then we got... Look at this! Fucking game. Really test your patience. But yeah, thanks for dropping me right on an enemy. Asshole. Hey, well, we can shoot. Okay, I was about... I was gonna say, I hope these guys can't shoot plates through the wall. Like, Mega Man could shoot his gun through the wall, and I was like, are these guys, are these guys gonna get shoot their plates through the wall and kill me? I tell you, man, some NES games are like, they make the bad guys super powerful and the good guys super weak. And then some games make the good guys super powerful and the bad guys super weak. I like those games. I like it when, like, one hit kills a guy and, like, you can take, like, 50 hits. Like, that's fun. <laughs> I like games where, like, the bad guys die in, like, one hit, where they just, just hit them once and they're out, you know? If I ever make a video game, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, I'd make mini video. I'd make a game where, like, the good guy could just, like, knock out one guy, and like I said, I was gonna make a beat him up. I'd make, like, enemies that could just be knocked out, like, two punches, and, they, and like, I'd put a lot of them in there, you know? And then I'd have, like, guys that maybe take, like, three. Make it easy for the player, you know? Don't make it too hard. It's better to make a game too easy than too hard. Because the goal of a game is to have fun, you know? The goal is not to 
tear your hair out. You, you like a little bit of challenge, you know? You want a little bit of pain, and then be rewarded with a little bit of pleasure. But if, you, if the game's just all pain, you know, then it's just... You know, it's, it's just thrown out the window. It sucks. Six keys. Do I need six or seven to beat this stage? I can't remember. I think it's seven. I'm gonna guess it's seven, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Look at this. More pollen. And eggs and... Just shit all over the place. I don't need that bee. Oh, shit. I don't think you can fly very long with the bee, so I gotta be careful. Oh, look, there's the... Oh, one more key left, and it's right below me. Just don't die, Nemo. <laughs> get the key and get the fuck out. Dead. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, now we're in... Oh, yeah, now we got a little cutscene here. Welcome to Slumberland, Nemo. I'm Princess Camille. Pleased to meet you. Not that many kids would have got this far. How come you wanted to meet me? The truth is... I... I'm preg... Morpheus was kidnapped by the... King of Nightmare Land. <laughs> oh, he looks... Threatening. What's Nightmare Land? It's the land of scary shit. The Nightmare King is plotting to take over all of Slumberland and destroy nice dreams forever. Aww. Oh no. Whatever will we do? Please help me, Nemo. Rescue my father and defeat the Nightmare King. How do you say no to that, Nemo? Um... I don't think I am... I can. I'm just a little boy. I haven't even reached puberty yet. I can't fight the Nightmare King! But this Morning Star will destroy... It doesn't look like a Morning Star, it looks like a wand or something. I don't know. I don't know how to use a Morning Star. Who do you think I am? Batman? Don't worry, the land of dreams, I'll just cast a spell on it. Okay, so you can use- oh, why didn't you give me this wand in the first place so I could kill enemies? Okay, now you can do it. You can attack or give- oh, can away candies. Not that I- won't, you won't need to collect keys anymore, thank god, we're done with that. Please promise me you'll go to Nightmare Land and defeat the Nightmare King. Please. Oh, she sounds so desperate. We gotta do it, Nemo. Okay, I promise. So yeah, this is the last level of the game, Nightmare Land, and uh, it's a fucking nightmare. You have three stages to go through, um, and if you die, at the end, if you get a game over, you start, like, you start this at this stage right here again. You don't start this in the next stage, it's a three-part stage. But we have a wand now, so we can finally attack enemies, I was saying, and we can charge our gun up and shoot. The problem is, there's, uh, very little enemies to, to attack with. Um, it's just awkward to attack with things. And you need animals to get through most of these parts anyway, so it doesn't matter. I love the music in this part, though. The music is great in the stage. All dark and ominous. I mean, any kid that's made it this far in the game, like, this is, like, really proud, man, if you got to this part. Most people will never beat the game, but they'll get to, like, this part right here. You know, they'll, they'll, they might get to this level. And, you know, it'll probably be, like, you know, 11 o'clock at night and it will be time to go to bed. And then the real nightmares will begin in that they didn't beat the game and they got so far. Fuck, fell on fire and died. Yeah, it's so easy to die in this this uh, area. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to uh, com 
complete this in this Let's Play, because I probably will die a lot, and uh, I could edit out parts. I, I might edit out parts, or I might just leave this video up and running and, and see how long I can go, but if it goes too long, um, I don't know what the limit is for YouTube videos nowadays. In the old days, it was like 10 minutes you could only do, but I think it's longer now. Um, I'm hoping I can, I can beat this in one go. But I probably won't. I'll probably die. A lot. Because it's insane. And what's really unique about this game is that you don't have you have bosses in this game, but not till the very last level. Like this penguin guy's a boss. This is pretty cool. I love this now. I gotta fight. This is where the game actually becomes pretty fun. Like, I mean, it's hard, but it's it's exciting now. We're actually fighting bosses. This guy doesn't have a health meter or anything, so you don't know how much life he has. But I think this is pretty cool. I don't think this penguin guy was in the movie, but I, I could be wrong. Anytime you get to kill stuff, it's fun. You know, most video games revolve around killing things or beating things up. Any game where you have to avoid things, eh, I'd rather destroy than avoid. Pew! Pew! I think it would have been cooler if they'd put more bosses in the game, like if you'd had bosses in other levels, but they didn't do that. And that's what makes the game unique. Yeah, he doesn't die, he just kind of explodes and then stays on screen. But now we're in the second part of this level, and uh, this is the real. this is probably the hardest area of the game, and you'll see why soon here. Uh, Again, if you get a, if you die here, you start back at that level before, and you will die a lot here. Most people will never get past this part of the game because it's just it's really hard. You'll see. We got the pollen guys, you know, make it really hard. They're just like the icing on the cake of this part. Uh, and we have fire blowing out the side of the wall here. I have no idea where the fuck this fire is coming from. I mean, is there a pool of lava underneath the ground there? Or what? How does fire come out the floor? There's no like sea of fire. I, I don't get it. This part right here is the is the hardest part. You have to get underneath this fire here, and you have to, while avoiding these pollen fuckers, and you're gonna get hit here because they, they get you. Um, you can't defend yourself. You have to get underneath this fire here, and then jump all the way onto this ledge, and drug this guy, and uh, not get killed here. And I got this guy. The, the frog. And now I have to go all the way back through this fire thing with the pollen guys again, without dying. And I only had three hits to do that, so I'm, I'm not gonna probably make this here. You know, it would be hard enough to do this without the pollen guys, but with the pollen guys, it's bullshit. to see a lot of deaths. I'm not gonna cut out any of this stuff because this is this video is not gonna be edited at all. This level kind of reminds me of a Flash Man stage or like Gemini Man or something, you know, from the Mega Man games. Like you could swap the Mega Man music with this. Or, like, you could put this, like, music in, like, Gemini Man stage in Mega Man 3 and it would fit in just fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this. I got one health left. <laughs> could really use the bee's help right now. Wicker Man. I, uh, I want to watch the movie The Wicker Man again with Nicolas Cage. A lot of people don't like that movie. I thought that movie was great. That was... I saw that movie uh, when I was in college with a girl, and um, I loved it. I thought that was I thought that was a, a funny movie. Especially how he, like, punches like punches these women out and stuff. I thought that was so cool. And he was just running around this, like, 
sit little town with all these crazy people wearing masks. Any movie where a good guy beats the shit out of all these weird people is always a movie that's worth watching. You know, anything, any movie where, uh, or any kind of movie or game where a character just beats up, like, kills, beats, you know, knocks the shit out of random people is awesome. Who are weird. I love it. Like, Resident Evil 4. Shit, I wasn't supposed, ah! I wasn't supposed to do that. I gotta kill myself again. Like, Resident Evil 4 had, uh, you know, the villagers where you, like, shoot them and, like, you know, you go through them and they were bad and they were weird and stupid. Like, I, I love the that kind of stuff. That's always entertaining to me. I don't care how bad the story is or how stupid it is. If it's just a, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, if it's, just, if it's just a movie where it's, like, random punching people, I'm, I'm entertained. You know, I go to movies to be entertained. I don't need a deep, riveting story. You know, I don't need high-quality X-Men Marvel drama shit. I just I just want to be entertained. With random stuff. <laughs> kind of like the commentary I'm making is random. I'm trying my best for a first Let's Play. I, I'm not the best at talking. I'll come up with better things to say in time. Okay, we got two health. Wow. Can we get through this here? Let's drug him again. Please, God, don't die. I want to beat this whole game and put it up. And I'm going to do that if I can. None of these pollen... pollen fuckers will stop. Oh, God! Go away. Oh! God! I'm not cutting any of this out. You're gonna watch this. You're gonna see how hard this fucking part is. Wow, I- Wow, I was good. Uh, better be a little Nemo here, because I don't want to die. God help me if I die here. And I think we have a checkpoint now, so if I die, I don't have to do that first fucking horrendous area again. Okay, so now we gotta avoid this crushing ceiling. And we got an alligator- Can I hit- Oh yeah, I can. Cool. Again, this wand, it's nice that you can kill enemies, but the wand sucks. Like, it's, it doesn't reach for shit. Nemo is, like, one of the most underpowered characters in any video game ever. It's pretty bad. Wow, that was close. And one more hit and I'm dead. So don't die. Fuck. Oh boy. When will this nightmare end? Gotta get my game face on. Oh, you fucker! Fuck you, you fucking bee! Fucking... Ugh, you fucking cock fuck. <laughs> you fucking... I'm gonna fuck... Ugh. God, I just wanna fucking kill him. <laughs> ah! Oh no, you don't... Get up here, Aunt Nemo! Get the... Go away, you crocodile! Leave me alone! Thank God. We're done with this area. Now we got the boss. And, uh... I can't remember... I think he's... What is he? Oh, yeah, he's a stingray. He just flies around the room, and, uh... This guy's harder than the penguin, because he moves really fast, and you don't know where he's gonna come. You just have to have good reflexes. And hope he doesn't run into you. Just charge your beam up and just fire at him and kill him. Get your reflexes on here, man. You're gonna need them. Whoa. There he is. Ooh, oh, fuck. I'm not gonna lose this. I won't lie. I won't, I won't die. Mm, take that, bastard. He wants me dead. Yeah! Come on. Boom! Yeah! Fuck you, you're dead. Dead! <laughs> but we're not done yet. Round three. 
this is the last level of the game. And it's not too bad, but again, if you die, you start all the way back at the first part of this thing, so... Don't die. I don't want to die. This is apparently hell for Little Nemo. Like, this is what hell is supposed to look like. Hell's frozen over. You'd think the last level would be a level of fire, like the first one. And like... But apparently it's icy cold. Like in Dante's Inferno, where the, la the deepest part of the hell was ice. I don't know if they were referencing that here, but... Run underneath there. Watch out! There we go. Oh yeah, I guess there's some fire. So there's ice and fire. An ice cavern with fire. Maybe this isn't ice, I'm not slipping around. Oh yeah, there you go. Die, you fucker. Suddenly my language is taking a turn for the worse, because I'm really nervous. Usually when people get nervous, they start swearing a lot, you know? Like, guys who aren't nervous and who are calm and relaxed generally don't don't drop the fuck word. Because, you know, they don't, they don't have anything to worry about. They're chill. Well, I'm not chill when I know I could easily get killed and have to start over. I'm also not chill when I can't grab onto a fucking ledge like that. I don't know if I should have gotten rid of the lizard there. I think I, I, th I don't think I think there's an animal up ahead here. Ah, oh, the bee! Yes, the bees! I love the bees! Fly away! Fly, fly, fly! Fly, guy! Fly, why? Fly, ha, ha! I want to fly high! I'm just gonna sting everything I possibly can. Just fly away from all this dog shit. Fly, little Nemo, fly! Fly all the way up as high as you can! Now, you can't fly up any higher because his wings get tired, so you've got to get this mouse uh, and then climb the wall here. I don't want the mouse to kill me, so i got to get out of it. Drug him up. That's right, take some drugs. And you got to jump down on this little platform right there. Don't fuck that up or you have to go all the way back again. Now, climb this whole long ridge. Whoa, shit. Fucker. Oh, no! I died! Now I gotta do this whole part again. If I get a game over, I'm gonna have to call this quits, and another day we're gonna have to finish this up, because uh, already this video is almost an hour long, and uh, I don't want to put too much stuff on this. Uh, this is just a, you know, a, a casual let's play. I want to see how well it turns out. I'm gonna watch this after it's done to see if this is worth putting up. Hopefully it will be, and um, hopefully people will start will comment on it and watch my videos. I'm not. I'm gonna try to get a video editing software so I can really edit a lot of videos. And I'm gonna get nicer games up. I'm just starting with easy an easy NES game like this. Careful, 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 careful. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Ugh. Fucking jumps. I wonder how much back in the day people tested out their games before they made them. I mean, did, did, when the developers made a video game in the day, did they really test it to make sure it was good? Or did they just, like, forget about parts? I, I, I always wonder that. I hear from... I heard that a guy named... Uh, Nintendo guy, Iwata, um, said that game designers made games really hard because they played them so many times. I don't know if I believe that horseshit. You know, I love Iwata for his Kirby games and stuff, but... I have a feeling a lot of these guys just didn't test their games when they were... Or they, they barely tested them, you know? You can't tell me that they, they skimmed over some of these parts. Oh, oh no! I fell down. I fucked up. Now I gotta go all the way back again and I'm gonna die. It's over. No forgiveness. No mercy. You fucked up, it's your fault. You're going to hell for it. You're going to hell. Oh, I'm already in hell. If 
any level has a night right to be a nightmare, it's this one right here. Yeah, I'm not. I wasn't gonna live through that. Yeah, if I die here and get a game over, I'm gonna have to call it quits, which is kind of shitty because I really want to beat this game in one sitting and get to the ending, you know. But it's just so hard. Uh, it's so hard to do the whole thing, you know. I might make a second part of this again, like I said, but it's not looking too pretty. Oh no! I fell in a hole and died. It's over. It's over. No. We can continue, but it's not going to be the same. Oh no! Well, I guess that's it for Ned. Um, yeah, we don't get to see the ending. Um, I will maybe make another video of this. I will see what that goes, and uh, you know, hopefully we can finish this sometime. But I want to see how this turns out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.